demonstration of uh, my routine, my facial routine. Actually, I should take this beautiful scarf off because I want to do the décolleté um, to the front. So this is the cleanser I used. I'm starting to introduce this new cleanser to the uh, very well-known uh, countermatch uh, regimen or collection. Um, I use regularly the counter time, which is for acne um, and for blemishes because um, I have food allergy and allergies and hormonal uh, imbalances at my age uh, due to perimenopause. And um, so I do use the charcoal butter soap, but I also use the counter control cleanser. Um, out of it, um, but it's on its way, and um, then I am starting to introduce as well uh, the counter match brand new forming cleanser, which is very gentle and, and loved. So now that I have cleansed my face, always it's always been like that it gets dry. This is pretty much empty, but I placed my order for my new bottle of counter time uh, mineral boost so I have been adopting doing the um, seven layers or you know as many as few or more than one layer of uh, using the mineral boost because there is a, a lot of good in doing that um, if I do one layer only my skin might end up being dry and the moisturizer might not be enough even with the uh, counter plus uh, vitamin C serum that has the amazing turmeric in it um, and so much more. So I do the layering of the mineral boost until I feel a little bit of stickiness um, and that my face is not dry or tingly like dry. My mouth, around my mouth, it's been dry lately. In the last couple of days, I've been feeling it um, getting quite dry and I don't want it to break up, you know, I get breaking of my skin tissues. So, hydration, cleansing, moisturizing, protecting, all this is important. We're getting there. I might do one more layer. I know that I'm going to be saved by my new bottle coming this week uh, for sure. I ordered it yesterday so it would be here before the end of well next week since tomorrow is Monday. Nice to do the decollete in the neck. Important to do this that part. Um, actually, you know, I'm going to do one more because you want to apply your counter, your serum, counter plus serum, while you still have your counter, uh, counter time uh, mineral boost. So you see, you don't have to do all these layers of the mineral boost every day. In the winter, you're going to do it more than the summer, of course, because the skin is so dry. However, I find such a difference by doing even just three times applying the mineral boost from counter time uh, and then the last time the last layer I'm gonna add of the counter time mineral boost then I top it right away to blend them together the C, vitamin C serum so from there then um, I do one pump of my counter control all over acne treatment just to prevent breakout I've been using it and it helps and when I have a breakout I use the SOS or when it's too red here because that's usually my target zone and sometimes here we know the t-zone you're on uh, but I'm not gonna use it today because I um, feel good um, those there so from there then 
uh, it's all dry, it dries so quickly these days, uh, it's hard to keep the humidity above 50, uh, even with the humidifiers. And then I would add my counter match lotion. I'm out of it, it's coming as well in the mail, so I'm using my little samples of it, of the uh, counter match adaptive. adaptive uh, uh, moisture lotion for the face. And massage this in. And what I've been doing, specifically in the winter, I top it with a counter plus oil. Very helpful. Here I have the number two, I've been using that a lot more lately. Uh, a lot of it was because of conveniency because I was using initially the counter plus number one, then I ran out of that one, uh, and I've been using intentionally uh, the counter plus oil of number two and number three. Number three is out as well now, so I'm using number two, and actually I'm very happy with number two. Uh, number two and number three are better for the more sensitive skin, even though number one I've been doing okay with it. Number one is too bright on your face. Number two is to help with plumping up the skin and wrinkles, which I can use this day with lack diminished collagen, uh, even though I take supplements for that, and hydrate, try and drink more water. Um, uh, but um, number two has been really good, and um, following Modern Green Goddess advice, uh, you can check her out. Uh, on Instagram, um, I'm trying to stick to number two right now. I just ordered another one. So this is pretty much it. And this is gonna hydrate my skin for the whole day. The next step I will do, if I have it here, no I do not, but I'm gonna add my uh, base, which is the, um, no it's not here. I have it in the back uh, when I last used it, which is the uh, primer. So the primer, before I'm gonna do my makeup in just a moment, is great um, to as well add extra moisture. It has uh, jojoba seeds in it, or beads, and actually I'm gonna go grab it, and I will show you what it looks like when I do my next step with the makeup. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back to show you this uh, what I was talking about. So this is already halfway empty now, halfway full if you want to call it, whichever. I'm going to remove all of this not to keep clutter around. I showed you my morning routine and now I will show you with this beautiful bottle. I think all these glass bottles, I'm going to try and keep them afterward and turn them into candles. Uh, because why not? You remove the top, uh, find the wax, and uh, make your own candles. So I'm going to do two pumps of this. It's not much at all, and that's sufficient. That's all you need. One would be okay too, but I feel my skin, because around my lips, it's still getting a bit dry and, um, you know, sensitive. I'm going to add two pumps, which I did actually, for my face. And now I'm going to do quickly... So I want to keep it quick, short, I want to um, get on a call with my mother right now. We're going to be talking to each other, we try and do that every week. So here, little tricks, I put my mascara under my arm to warm it up. It's actually cool, so we need to warm it up. And as well as my... Uh, I'm trying to see which one I need. There we go. Even my, um, what do you call it? For the eyebrows. Alrighty, so that's there, getting warmed up. While uh, now I'm gonna apply the concealer. So I try and keep it minimal, and if I don't have to use my do skin or the. Um, well, the, not the do skin. Yeah, the do skin or the. Uh, skin twin. Uh, I don't because this is when you go outside as PF and give it a little bit of a glow, but um, I managed to get it accomplished. I think my mother wants to hop on, so let's quickly do this. 
So soon coming out, our concealer will have the new tip, uh, new brushes uh, that will be working. For now, I'm dipping these that you can go get online on our website. So I got the lighter color I just grabbed. I have a couple of options of concealer and today I just grabbed the lighter one because I guess my eyes, my skin is a bit lighter. So that could be the reasoning I uh, adopted, I guess, which is fine. Plus it's good lighting so I can see better. For the camera, the light is so important. So let's see if I can do this in like five minutes. Because mom is waiting right now, she just contacted me. And so she's probably asking me if I'm ready. So it, obviously using this little tip um, brush, um, it goes on the, on the whole uh, stick. So I'm just gonna place this right here, even though it's not bad at all. And on the top of the nose, just to use up, I don't wanna waste anything. Sometimes I, I mean, I always keep the, the container when it's empty and nothing must come out. I keep it for a little while still. Leave it in a drawer that's for, you know, basically empty used, but it will still get, give you a few more, uh, actually quite a bit. If you let it sit sometimes for a little while, it will uh, somehow, I've tested it where you'll be able to get a few, many more use of it. So there, with that, I didn't wet it today. It's still a little bit humid, which is okay. I'll go with this for now. The more wet is this is, actually I'm gonna go do it because it does make, it make a huge difference. So I don't know if you see the difference, but um, I didn't show you earlier, but um, this is much bigger now. It's softer gen and because I just wet it. So I'm gonna be using it to, uh, just blend in everything. I'm gonna use my magnifying glass here a bit so I can see a bit better. You can see me in the mirror above here. Oh, I could turn toward you and do it this way so you can see me directly, see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. It's not quite ideal, but we'll make do with it. So I'm gonna use my eyebrow and I'm just gonna strum it across. Actually, it's not bad because I like being where it is right now. And I did definitely warm it up. I can see a difference. If you warm up your mascara and your eyebrow, this is medium color. My eyelashes are quite light and eyebrows. You, know, you can see the hair uh, in my hair, you know, my head. It has quite a bit of light color. Right now, there's not really any highlights. Um, my eyebrows are not the best, I think. I have a big scar. Well, it's hidden, but it's there. But some hair won't grow. Okay. For what I can see, this is the best I can do right now. So from here, now I'm gonna use my pencils here. And actually one thing I forgot to grab is this, I do like this one. It is my purple color um, eye pencil. So I usually use this like an eyeliner. And then I'm gonna blend all that in. It's not the best for me to see what I'm doing, but I'm turning around so that you have a better view of what I'm doing. So here, I'm going to blend this in with this brush. I think it's called the crease brush. So I'm just going from out inward. Do not go outward. I hear from experts saying, plus it makes sense. You want to 
show the eye. I have to hurry, mom texted me again. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of the gold here. This gold here, that's what I'm adding with this brush, which I think is the overall brush. So I'm gonna dab this all over. And then I'm gonna go back to the crease brush just to add layer. I'm focusing more on the middle and center and just pushing in the gold. Okay, and I'm going back a bit with this. Not, not this side, I want the actual color. I'm going a little bit more than not this one. Where it is? There it is. And some you want, you can take however many steps or no steps that you want. Okay. Alrighty, so from here, um, let's just add a bit of mascara. It's nice and warm. I didn't prep the eyelashes with any tool. I have done it in the past, but I don't always do it. And I try and keep it warm by holding that stick in my hand. Now try and bring your shoulders down as you do that so you don't drain your head back like this, right? It's inevitable you will a bit, but try and minimize it by dropping those shoulders down as much as possible. So probably a short is going to be made out of this and a rail uh, on fast mode, fast pace. Just so you get an idea. Yeah, he didn't do anything at the bottom to blend in. Sometimes I do another step to, uh, I can use one of these fine brush to create dimension and color below, but I'm not going to right now. Okay, I'm gonna do the blush. So I like to use this one. This is, I believe, Nectar. It's hard to see what it says now because it's half gone. This is Nectar. I love Nectar. Apply with this brush, which is, for the, it's a blush brush, I believe, a flat brush. The blush makes such a huge, huge difference. Now you don't want it to be too, especially when you're doing video shoots, uh, since we shoot in raw, we need to make sure we don't make it too rosy because as we uh, reinstate the contrast and the lights and all of that, and one thing I forgot that makes a huge difference, I'm not gonna use this such light color, I'm gonna use it darker. I think it is. I'm not sure anymore which one is which. I need to do a bit of contouring. Thank you. 
and out with our laden to blend it in and create definition For this, I'm gonna add again a bit of brush. That looks pretty good. And then we just have to top that with. Um, we will have to top that with a bit of mascara, oh no, mascara, um, lip gloss, and I'm using this mauve, light mauve color. It's light, it's vanilla, organic, um, properly sourced vanilla, and I think that looks really good. So there you go, uh, the before and the after. What do you think? Did I do it in five minutes? Close to that. Baby, you make me feel so la 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 la.